Hello, today is such a gorgeous day. We have beautiful sunny weather outside. And I decided since yesterday I, I talked about my two little girls, today I would talk about my two little boys. And I've got Noah in the background, and here's little Gabriel. And um, they brought me so much joy. They're just so cute. And I was just sitting there thinking about what I could talk about today. And I thought, you know, I've seen some YouTubes where women are talking about their childhoods or memories that they had growing up. And I thought I, I could talk about my childhood while while we, I'm dressing these two little babies. Um, so I was going to first of all show you the clothes I picked out for little Gabriel. And he's all happy and eager to get dressed. I, I brought him this. It's got little seahorses. I thought that was really cute. What is it? Not sea no, little tiggers. No, it's little tigger. I thought it was seahorses. Tigger. And it looks very summery for a day like today. It's going to be kind of hot. So I thought he would look really cute in that. And these little... Um, uh, mitts for his hands. I thought that'll match really well with, with his little outfit. So that's what little Gabriel is going to wear today. And this is a Disney baby outfit and it's for size 0 to 3 months. So anyway, I thought he'd look really cute. right? And for little um, for Noah, he's a little bigger. He's what, 6 to 9 months? So I thought he could wear, I found this little, uh, this t-shirt, and it says beep beep, and it's got a little car and a little puppy in the front, and he always looks good in yellow, he looks really good, so he's going to wear that, and he's going to wear that with these plaid shorts, yellow goes with just about anything, so I thought that would go together, if the plaid and the yellow. Yeah, that ties in pretty good, I think. And then um, I thought I'd put on these little shoes. They've got like little tigers on them or little kitty cats. And uh, I got these at Target and they were like on clearance for $2. I could not believe just $2 for these. And it's for baby size 3 to 6 months. So that should fit Noah pretty good. I think that'll fit him. So I'm going to start getting little Gabriel dressed. Maybe I'll turn him this way. Yes, don't. Yeah, we've got to turn you. So I was just thinking about my childhood and thinking well, it's been many, many years ago that I was a little child. And I lived in South America. I was born and raised down there. And... Uh, <coughs> um, we didn't have many toys to speak of. You know, up here we just have so many toys to play with and everything. So, growing up, we had to be pretty creative. I have I have two brothers and a sister, and we um would have to, we would have to come up with our own ideas. So, one of our favorite things to do was um we had a ladder from a bunk bed. And we used to like to pretend that we were flying. And so we had to make an airplane. And we came up with the idea of having, um, we thought, how could we do this? How could we design an airplane? So we took pillows from the bed and we put them on the floor. They were kind of like square pillows. And then we used the ladder, like the wing of the airplane. And so we put put that across the pillows and then um, you know like I said we didn't have a lot of toys so we had to come up with our own ideas which I think was a really good thing I think it's great when kids can use use their imagination and come up with ideas and um, and then we had to decide who the pilot was going to be and who the flight attendant and who the passengers were going to be. Well, we always worked it out. Everybody always decided. Um, my sister and brother always wanted to be the passengers, and I wanted to be the flight attendant. And my 
my younger brother, he always wanted to be the pilot. So we decided, well, it's working out great. So that was one of our one of the favorite things we used to like doing as a family, building airplanes and pretending, um, yeah, that we were flying and that. And uh, my brother, sister, and I were always very close. So we did a lot of things together, didn't we, Gabriel? See, you can see the camera here. So we did a lot of things together. Um, so besides that, I also always loved to play with dolls. From the time I was about three years old, I was playing with dolls. And my mom had this little doll that was a kind of a cloth, had a cloth body, kind of like the Reborns. And she had left her in the sun when she was a little girl, and she turned kind of black. And I think the sun kind of... Um, bleached her out a little bit or she kind of turned out to be a little black baby or um, African American baby and I loved her I thought she was I, I, I thought she was my favorite I mean I loved playing with her and um, I would go to the store and of course I had to buy real baby clothes for her I couldn't just have doll clothes and my mom she would take me to the store and she'd say well let's go to the baby aisle and see what we can find and I would always of course find something for the baby and I and uh, so it would it could be a baby blanket it could be a, a little hand mitts it could be a little pair of pajamas and I so she said well you c we can spend up to a certain amount and you can buy whatever you want you know and oh my gosh I was in my glory being able to go to the baby department and see what they had. Here's little Gabriel. What do you think of him? He's all dressed and so cute. Aren't you? You're all happy now, aren't you? Yes. We'll put your pacifier in. There. I might put little socks on him or else, since it's going to be hot today, 80, I'll leave him in, in his little bare feet. So there's little Gabriel. And little Noah is watching too. So anyway, um, so yeah, we go, we'd uh, go to the store, and I get to pick out a baby, uh, some clothes for my little baby doll. And I could not wait to come home and put them on her. And I think that's why I like love these reborns because there's there's just so many outfits that you can pick out for these babies, which I never I didn't have that big of a selection when I was little. Um, so now I get to relive my childhood and be able to play with my dolls. So here's little little Gabriel and he's happy over there, aren't you? Here we go. So, oh, now Noah is all ready to get dressed. I'll turn him so he can see you. There we go. You're watching the camera. You're just watching, watching, watching. Aren't you there? Let me check that I'm taping the right thing. Oh, yep, it looks good. All right. So anyway, um, so playing with my baby doll was one of my favorite things. I, I would take her everywhere with me. I was like six, seven, eight years old, and I was still playing with dolls. Um, and uh, I know one, one winter. We came up to um, Wisconsin to visit my grandparents, and my grandma gave my sister and I uh, Barbie dolls for Christmas, and that was another great thing we received. That down in South America, they did not have Barbies, and we had never seen them, and you could dress them in all different outfits, and they had lots of different accessories and. Um, everything and oh my gosh I also found out I loved Barbies you know so that was and I started playing Barbies when I was about seven or eight and I played with them until I was like 12 or 13 I loved playing with Barbies um, and the one thing that I w never got that I wish I would have gotten was a wedding dress for my Barbie and my mom kept saying, well, they're kind of expensive, and I, we can't afford to buy you 
uh, you know, to buy a little wedding dress for your Barbie, because back then they might have been ten, twelve dollars for a dress, a little outfit, and we had to kind of be careful with our money, so um, it just seemed a little pricey. It might have even been fifteen dollars. I'm not sure. There you go. Yes, you got your hands up, don't you? Um, so anyway, I love playing with uh, Barbies, and uh, one year I did get a camper, a Barbie camper, which I absolutely loved. Um, it had like the sleeping bags and the uh, camping chairs and um, uh, play food that we could, my sister and I could pretend we were playing, going camping with our Barbies, and uh, we just thought that was the best thing. Um, so anyway, Barbies were another thing I used to love playing with, and uh, one of my favorite toys, as I remember, was um, I had said to my mom I really wanted a real baby stroller for my dolls. I didn't just want a doll buggy. I really wanted the real thing, and I don't know, I might have been seven, eight, and they managed to find me a real baby a real baby stroller and it was kind of red and white and it was kind of falling apart and my grandma when she came to visit us she managed to fix it and oh my gosh I was just thrilled to have a real baby stroller and for my baby and um, there we go how do you look I'll put his little shoes on. Oh, why did his shoes go? Here we go. We're going to put the little lion, um, lion or kitty shoes on. I think they'll match perfect with his outfit. I hope they're going to fit. He's got big feet. Oh, they fit perfect. So anyway, um, the stroller, uh, the funny thing is one day my baby brother decided he wanted to sit on it sit in the baby stroller and guess what the whole thing just fell apart and I was very upset but I I knew it wasn't his fault he was just curious and you know how little brothers can be and uh, I was upset and then my grandma she said don't worry I'm gonna fix it and so she got got some fabric and went to the sewing sh store and she managed to fix it all perfectly for me, which I was so happy about. And uh, um, anyway, so I had my baby stroller that I could take my babies in. There's little Noah. Hi, Jen. There you are. You're looking at the camera. Should we put your nookie in? Yeah, she's a big boy, aren't ya? Look at those. He's a big little chunky guy. You're just a chunky little chunker. Yes. So he's got his little shoes on. I might have to find him some socks. But he's a happy guy. And here is his little monkey. So anyway, we really didn't have many toys growing up. But we came up with things. That we imagined things. And we thought about what we should do. And even if we didn't have toys, we'd come up with great ideas of how to create our own games and um things like that and also you know maybe some of you growing up experience the same sort of things so if you want to comment on some of the your favorite pastimes growing up that'd be I'd love to hear from hear from you and uh, um, anyway so here's little Noah and little, oh my gosh and little Gabriel little sweet baby oh should we sit you up there and if he doesn't want to sit up, he says. And we'll put little Gabriel down here. Oh my goodness. Yes, here you are. So that my two little boys are all dressed, ready for the day. And um, it's kind of nice having four reborns now. I'm a busy mom. Now I know when my mom says that she was just so busy all the time. And I, I can't imagine people having four little kids all at the same time. It'd be a lot of work, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot of work. So here's little Gabriel. And uh, 
I found a story that I thought I would read since I'm talking about um, childhood memories. And this is the book. It's called Sweet Dreams, The Art, or oh, written by Pamela Prince. And there's a little girl with her teddy bear sound asleep. She looks so peaceful. And um, I found a, a little poem about dolls. There's a little girl with her dolls, two dolls. And it says, Some dolls I have are fancier, and some are better dressed. Some talk have painted faces, but I think old friends are best. You've been so true through thick and thin, you're cheer, you, you cheer me when I'm gloom, and when I see your trusty smile, I know that you're my chum. Let others say you're broken or you're raggedy and torn, but you're the one I love to hold when I wake up each morn. So anyway, I thought I'd end up my video by sharing a story about a poem about um, dolls. And if you have a favorite doll you want to talk about or um, uh, a favorite memory, just don't be afraid to comment. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And little Noah and, and Gabriel say goodbye. They say bye, don't you? Can you say bye to all the aunties and uncles? Say bye. Bye-bye. And I love these little guys just as much as I love my two little girls. So you all enjoy your reborns. And um, until next time, uh, many blessings to you. Bye-bye.